welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. Okay, so we are going to get started with the show. Couple announcements first. The first one is if you would like to join the show, I am here every Monday and Wednesday at noon central. I take callers. The call in number is 845 277 91 three one or you can join us on youtube live and <clears throat> join in on the chat where i also answer questions and give people their song of the day um everybody's talking in the chat it's it's really um very nice to have that okay um if you would like to call in and ask a question or connect to a loved one on the other side you can do that anytime while the show is um recording which is again every monday and wednesday at noon central okay okay <laughs> um if you would like reminders of when the show is going to go live you can just whatever you're watching on unless it's literally TV, because I do air on WSCS, all of their streaming channels. Rude Rangers has me on all of their streaming channels. Um, almost every podcast, radio stations, it's kind of nice. I kind of like it, I must say. Um, just hit the like and notification buttons, and you'll be notified every single time that I go live, so you can join in and ask questions, connect with loved ones, so on and so forth. Okay. I'm going to start today with the names of loved ones on the other side. Okay, nope, I'm going to start with songs because they're really pushing me to start with songs. So the first song, and I woke up literally singing this song, like the first get out of bed, walk, walk, start walking, um, and I'm singing, you're simply the best better than all the rest. I don't think that was a personal message from spirit for me. <laughs> but it's been going on morning. So there it is. And the way songs work. If you love this song, a loved one loved this song, you used to listen to it together. It's your song. Also, if it answers a question for you, it's your song. Uh, the next song is, uh, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? They are not kidding. Um, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Okay, so clearly that if that song is for you or that song takes you back in memory, to something or someone, again, it's your song. It's something you used to sing to somebody or somebody used to sing to you. That's such a childhood song, right, you guys, right? And then um, Fawn, your song today was Let's Groove Tonight. And then Patrick, your song. And if you are on YouTube, I definitely do go through and give songs of the day prior to the show starting. Patrick, your song is, um, give me a second, let it come in. Um, I know the song, it's, um, okay, there's two songs coming in. The first one is Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, something, something, so something, something. Okay, that's, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Okay. <laughs> and then, the, the, I do not know, Patrick. And then the next song is, I just called to say I love you. So those are your two songs, Patrick. And they're coming in like mixing into each other. So that's the weird thing. Um, hey, Isabella. Hey, Anne. Hey, Margaret. Thank you all for joining the show. Now, there's a message for Heather. Heather, it's really important that you take care of you and love yourself the way you do others. Um, 
the car, yes, it's the car's job to get everybody to where they need to go. But if you don't take care of the car, it's not taking anybody anyplace. That's the analogy that they're using. Um, and then I'm going to start with Isabella's question. Hi, Tony. I just got back with my ex recently. <clears throat> Do you see it being successful the second time or any advice regarding this? Oh, Isabella, can you please put your ex's first name in the um, chat just so that I can tap into both of your energies? Um, Nick. Okay, Isabella and Nick, tell me about them. It's complicated. Boy, there should be a song named that. It's complicated. Um, yeah, Isabella, it's complicated. I'm here, and this doesn't mean don't jump to things, people. Know your gender role. And I know a lot of people will argue that and say, there is no gender role gender roles anymore bullshit we're born with them we are we are um i'm hearing don't put so much like don't bet all your money on one horse to like don't put so much stock into this has to be it or it has to go all the way boy man that is the truth right girls and boys just let it um, like if you're in, like, let it ride and they show, show the, the people throwing dice. And, you know, here's the thing, folks, here's what I'm going to say. And I know I get some kickback on this sometimes. Um, relationships are not easy. Yeah. There are times when they flow and they're amazing and, they're really good, okay? But there are also times when there's complications. Remember, we were brought up into completely different homes with completely different styles and uh, cu cultural differences, even if you were both brought up in the same country. Um, half of us don't get along with our siblings that we were brought up in a house with, but we expect this person who was brought up with completely different ways and ideals and goals to be, you know, the perfect person for us. And here's what I'm going to say. You have to understand, first and foremost, you must understand the person that you're in a relationship with. People say words, but there's something they mean behind those words, okay? There's a need or a want or something going on behind those words. And you, ha you have to be able to understand what that is, okay? Now, you and Nick, I think it's going to go okay for a while unless you... Um, And one of you has pretty high expectations. Um, and that could be like, this is the person who's going to fulfill all my needs, or this is the person and we're going to get married and we're going to have 2.5 kids and uh, whatever those needs, whatever those expectations are, like hone them back a bit, hone them back. Sometimes the most amazing, miraculous thing that can happen for a person is it does take a little bit of time so that you get to see, you know, who and what this person is about. And then you can make a, a very good choice or decision based on that. Okay. Um, now, it's going to go okay. Um, and I always say this, any relationship can last depending on what you're willing to put up with and sacrifice. Now, not all relationships are like that. When you have two very, two people who are very mature in the relationship area, they know how to have a relationship. They know how to communicate. They're full within themselves. Relationships can be good. When they both have a lot on their plate and they're doing their own thing, but still make time for each other, a relationship can be very good. It's when we are looking for that person to fill a need 
or have expectations that are very contrary to that person's beliefs or system where complications come in, okay? Um, no one person can be everything to another person, nor are they supposed to be. You were not put here to be everything to this person. They were not put here to be everything to you. It's your job to be everything to you. It's your job to be full of self-love. And this person just accentuates that love. It's your job to be where you want to be and what you want to do. And this person comes in and then compliments it. It's like your bag cannot be your shoes, but your bag and your shoes can match very nicely. Right? Right. That's right. That I don't that that was perfect spirit. Thank you. Right? It's it's just that. Okay, I'm gonna start to take callers. The number is 845-277-9131. Oh, I didn't do names. Let's do names real quick. Callers. Hold up. Hey. <laughs> that is a <laughs> that's a song that's coming through. Okay. Hold up. Hey. Um I can't say the word, but um for my mm -mm, we don't play. <laughs> That song, that song is for someone and I'm supposed to be doing names, but they keep sliding me right in to songs again, maybe because I didn't finish the songs and then I'm hearing Yo Diggity. Um, I like to bag it up. <laughs> that is not how that song sounds at all. Okay, so the names I'm hearing today, once again, Brian. Brian, I, I, every show, Brian. Hey, Brian, thanks for being with me for every single show. I love you, dude. Um, the next, the, the next uh, name that I'm, and okay, so for those of you who are new, the names, it could be the name of the person on the other side. It could be your name. Um, it could be a loved one, um, uh, yeah, like one of your children or something like that, okay? And then the next name that I'm hearing is Chris, Crystal. And then Crystal, Crystal. And the next, the next name I'm hearing is Bob. Just Bob. Just call me Bob. Um, and then the next name that I'm hearing is, um, they did this whole song. Um, it's not really a song song, but the name is Anna and it, they did this whole fee fi fo Anna, Anna. <laughs> so Anne or Anna is here also. And then we have a Jeremy, a Jeremy is here. And then, um, I'm going to have this be the last name and the name is Stella, Stella. Oh, no, I'm not, because then this guy who is clearly a little bit um, bigger in the middle, like, you know, how when men would get, you know, that midsection, their stomach would grow. But he was always stocky. He was always stocky, really black hair, Italian. And he's, he's like saying, Guido, Guido. Guido, Guido. I don't know if he's, I didn't even know that was a real name, folks. I didn't even know Guido was a real name. <laughs> I thought it was like a, like a name they made up for the Goodfellas or a nickname. Like it's just a, like a godfather name. Yo, Guido. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that just makes me think of this really funny uh, memory that I have. Um, anyway, so Guido, Guido, if that's his real name or not, is rushing in going, yo, Guido, Guido, Guido. So he could be talking to somebody here, could be his name. I am going to say, though, um, he like pushed past a bunch of people to make sure he get, he did get in today. Okay. Okay, 
now for the rest of the show, I want to let you know that you can, if you're in the chat, please feel free to ask questions. I'll be happy to answer those questions for you. I'm also going to be taking calls on the call log. If you would like a private session, um, one-on-one, -on -one, I do have private sessions for 30 minutes and 60 minutes, but that goes through the website, which is T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. Okie dokie. Hey, Jay Francis. Hey, Diana. I'm going to go to um, 814. 814, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Amy and I'm calling from Pennsylvania. And my question is, who are you picking up that is getting my boss's job? But oh, that's really specific. Wow. Um, okay, Amy, um, are you at, okay, so I'm going to ask you a few questions just so I, for the purpose of time here. And are you wanting to know if it's somebody within the company, somebody they're bringing in outside of the company? Do you want to know if it's you? Do you want to know if it's somebody you know? Because <clears throat> these are all the questions I'm asking. Um, yeah, go ahead. Somebody within the company. I didn't put in for it because I haven't been there long enough um, to apply for it. You know um, what, Amy? I've um, been there five months. I actually think, and I don't know if this is going to make sense to you. I feel like it's somebody. I'm going to say this the way I'm hearing it. And if it doesn't fit specifically, you can let me know and I'll give you a for example on it. I feel like it's somebody under the umbrella, but maybe not from your branch. They may be bringing in somebody from another, somebody, somebody, it, it's somebody from outside, but not out, but it's somebody already within the company, but outside of maybe your area. So if it's not somebody from like, let's say specifically another branch, it may be somebody from another department. Now, what I will say is this person may feel like they are being demoted. Maybe they were working a different area and they're being put in this area, which they feel is smaller or not up to whatever for them. So they're going to come in not as excited about the position. They're going to come in feeling demoted is all I'm getting. And I hope I'm picking up on, on your situation, but this is what I'm getting. Does that even make sense to you? No, it doesn't. Okay. So let me try to explain it uh, another way. So if in your company, there are, I'm just going to use the word managers, supervisors of different areas. They might be moving a, a boss from a different area to your boss's position. That's what I'm hearing. Now, whether that's from within the company, but a different area of the company, or outside of the company, it's, I'm going to tell you this, I think whoever they put in this position, nobody's expecting it to be this person. Nobody's expecting it to be this person. They wouldn't expect, and the person they're putting in this position might not be excited about being in this position. Now, if this isn't, I feel like this information is for you. If it is not for you, I apologize. But I do feel like this, I might be getting some of the semantics a little off or the verbiage a little off. But this is what I feel like is, is going to happen. Like the people who applied for this position, they may not be getting it. The people who applied, who are looking to step up, they may not be getting this position. They're moving somebody. They're doing what's considered a lateral move. They're moving somebody else that's already in like management or boss position into this position. 
Okay. They're not going to bring somebody up into, I, this is just what I'm getting. And they might be still in the deciding phase of this. They might still be trying to go, okay, we can do A or B. But I feel like in the end, as of right now, <clears throat> they're not going to move somebody up. They're going to move somebody over. That's the best way I can describe that. Now, if it's not somebody within within the this particular company, they may be moving somebody who's a manager or a boss in another company into this company, into the position for, I, I don't know, that's just what I'm getting, love. You'll have to call back and let me know what happens, okay? Okay, I will. Thank you. You are so welcome. You have an absolutely amazing day, and thank you for calling in. You as well. Thank you. you. Have a wonderful day. You too. Thank you so much. Uh, 614, you're going to be next. And then 504 after that. I am going to go to, um, oh, um, J. Francis says, my dad, for Brian, comes through a lot, but he's still alive. Well, it might not be him if he's, well, maybe it's somebody on the other side talking to Brian. Remember, it can be the name of the person on the other side or the name of the person here. So maybe somebody on the other side is saying hi to your dad, Brian. Okay. Um, oh, <laughs> and Jay Francis has an aunt, Stella. So someone on the other side, uh, Jay Francis, somebody on the other side must be saying hello to people here. Now, if Stella's on the other side, maybe she's saying hi to your dad, Brian. Not sure. Hope that makes sense to everybody. Okay, I'm going to go to 614 next. Um, and then Diana, I'm going to answer your question. 614, what's, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Wilson. I'm calling from Ohio. Okay, thank you. Can you please repeat your name for me? It just broke up a little bit. Oh, my name is Wilson. Okay, and can you pull the phone a little bit closer to your face? Just for the background noise. And then how can I help you today, beautiful? Okay, is this better? Uh, yep, it is a little bit. Absolutely, yes. Go ahead. Um, my name is Phil Finn. I'm calling from Ohio. Um, do, you want, do you want to know my question? Yes, please. Um, I recently started seeing... Um, a man named Mohammed Borhan, and I'm just wondering how do you see our relationship progressing? Mm. Okay. I'm, go I'm going to say everything I hear because that's the way this works for me. Good. Good. One of the things I'm hearing is in order and um, there's no judgment here, okay? I have no judgment about anything whatsoever. And But the words I'm going to use may trigger people, but they're just the words that are coming through that help to explain this the best. They're the, the, the easiest words. In order for this relationship to be really successful, um, uh, Muhammad might need a bit of a submissive woman. And that doesn't mean you give up control of everything or every area of your life. It just means that he, he might be the type of person that like what he says goes, especially in the house and with certain aspects of you. Now, some women don't care. Um, some women are completely okay with that and they're, and that's fine. And that's good. Um, if you are very strong willed, independent, um, and like to, uh, if, the, if, if that's something you can handle, this will be, uh, very progress. It will move forward very quickly. Um, he will have some expectations of things that, of things of you, some expectations of you that you may not have thought about 
in the past. So I think the two of you should have that conversation of what, what do you, th it, to, um, I'm trying so hard to be careful with my words, folks. Um, what do you see a, a, a marriage looking like? The the dynamics of a marriage. Don't say the power struggle or the control aspects. Just say, well, how do you see the dynamics of a marriage? How, what does a successful marriage look like to you? In a success, sex, successful marriage, what role do each person play? What role does each person play? And that'll give you a really good idea of kind of, that's a really good question, actually. I think everybody should ask that question in a relationship. In a successful relationship or marriage, what roles do you see each person playing? And and that is a very powerful question for people in today's world. Um, and then uh, let him answer that. And don't have any reaction while he's answering because if you, your face or your body or your mouth reacts, he will not be fully honest with you about how and and what he sees. But he, inevitably, you will end up, if you stay in this situation, inevitably, you will end up conforming to what he wants because it's just a, a thing that will happen. In most marriages, it does everybody compromises. Just make sure you're not the only one compromising and you're not the only one giving up and it's going both ways. Okay, love? All and right. then, thank and, you. Oh, wait, Filson, one other thing. Before you ask yeah. him that, make sure you know what you want in a partner and a relationship and how you want those roles to look because it's not only up to the other person. We also get a say in that. We also get to say, you know, okay, this this is what I want and this is how I see myself being successful in a relationship because anything other than that will change the fabric of who you are and you are gorgeous and beautiful and divine and nothing should change your fabric. And I have tinglies all over the top of my head as I say that to you, okay? So somebody on the other side really wants you to know that um, you don't have to compromise anything um, and that it will uh, just make sure you know the dynamics of what's expected here. Okay, love? Whew. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much for calling in. I hope this was helpful. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay, guys, the call in number, if you would like to ask a question, is 845 277 9131. And um, you can call in if you have a question. Please press the one, the key one on your phone. Um, I'm going to go to, I believe it's Diane. Hi, Tony. Diane from Houston. Do you see anything for me meeting a special someone in the near future? Thank you and blessings, Diane. <laughs> we meet a lot of special people every day. Um, I'm joking. Um, Diane, um, partner-wise, when, when, okay, so you guys, I need to say this. Um, you know, we do meet people before the person, okay? So we might have some shorter little relationships before the actual person comes in. So if you're asking me, when is the next person going to come in? It's a little bit different than asking when is um, the long-term, more significant relationship come in. And Diane, I'm going to answer. In um, June, which we only have a couple days left, there's the potential or the possibility for you to meet someone. It's going to last about a month. Don't skip it because there's going to be some things that you get to learn about what you want, what you don't want. And just, you know, knowing it's for a month, you get to decide if you want to do the dog or not, Okay. Do the dog or not? That's poetic spirit. Um, 
And you can take that however you want to take that, folks. <clears throat> How you interpret that is on you, not me. Um, but in between two and three months, in between, wait, 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 wait. When is the longer, more significant term relationship come for? September. Thank you for the month. September, there's the potential or the possibility for somebody very long term to come in in September. This person will help you learn, grow, and you'll do the same for them. And that's really what relationships are about. Um, as I've always said, if we are not growing in love, we are growing apart. We are with people to learn and to grow and to heal, possibly, things that have happened in the past. So if you are in a relationship, you should be learning, you should be growing, and you should be healing. Um, <clears throat> and I feel like that is coming in in September. But whomever's coming in, possibly this week still, um, before, before the weekend, What's today's Wednesday? That gives you two days, Diane. Get on it. <laughs> uh, you uh, will find that that person is um, not for the long term, but it should be a good thing. Okay. Hey, Mimi, I want to thank uh, some other people who have already who have come into the show. Um, Mimi and Svetlana is here. Hi there. I'll get to your question in a second. Angie and Marie, um, thank you for joining the show. I go back and forth between questions on the phone and questions in the chat. So if you would like to call in and ask your question, the number is 845-277-9131. And if you have already asked a question in the chat, I will get to it as soon as I can. The next caller is 504. 504, what's your name and where are you calling from? I'll be right back. Okay? Um, hi, um, this is Debbie. Hey, Debbie. Um, and um, hey, hold on. I'll put my stuff right here. <laughs> I was on hold for you. Um, hey, Tony, I'm so glad to talk to you. Excellent. Thank I you. I have been going through a lot. Huh? Okay, go, go ahead, love. Um, I feel really funky, if that makes sense. Yeah. And, um, I've been losing, like, friends like crazy, and just people have been, like, mean to me. And I just sit and cry and cry and cry, so I don't know what's going on if I'm getting attacked or going through transitions. Okay, so a couple things. I saw you on, I was so happy. <clears throat> Oh, you, uh, thank you so much for calling in. And here's a couple of things. We're going to do a clearing for you, everybody listening, re-listening, um, watching, re-watching. Uh, we are clear. I get a no. Let's clear this. We are unclear. Let's clear that. Um, here's what I'm going to say. Sometimes the blessing, the they're going to say this, and I want you to come back and listen to this. It's at about the 33-minute mark of the show, and I think everybody right now Everybody in this world needs to hear this. Sometimes the blessing is letting go grace with grace or gracefully. Those who are meant to be with us will be with us. Okay. Sometimes uh -huh. we need to be shown who people really are so that we can keep going on our path. And oftentimes when we lose people or um, we're separated temporarily or permanently from people, it's because we were no longer in alignment with that frequency or vibration. We were no longer in alignment with who they are, how they are, how they behave, what they're doing. And a lot of times people are doing things behind our back that we don't, we might be suspicious of it. Oh, we might have an idea of it, but I'm a little suspicious. Yeah. Then, you know, yeah, of one friend in particular, if we can't walk away on our own, 
our angels or spirit will come in and make that separation for us. And this is about us. You know, we always say, well, I have to be the better person from a distance. Be a better person from a distance. <laughs> there is nothing in this world that says you have to let people use, abuse, or treat you other than good. Okay? There is nothing yeah. that says you have to be the better person and put up with this. Being the better person sometimes means I'm not going to smack you or throat punch you because of what you just said to me or did to me. It means I'm going to walk away. I'm going to wish you the best. I'm going to leave you with love and be on my way. Now, if yeah. you are suspicious of people, that's your whole intuition. That is your spirit team trying to tell you something. And if you don't walk away when that intuition or that suspicion kicks in, they will show you. They will show you the true nature of this person yeah. towards you. And that's when you say, I love myself enough to let this go. If somebody doesn't have the decency to okay. be decent to you, whatever your definition of decency is, if somebody doesn't have the decency to be decent to you in your definition of decency, love, and kindness, you get to walk. You don't have to put up with it. So that is what I'm getting. And don't be sad about people leaving because if your frequency is going up or their frequency is going down, whatever it is, don't worry. People on your frequency will come in and will be there for you. Sometimes it's better to meet new people and move into that. And a lot of times I'm going to tell you this. Keep your circle tight. You don't need a lot of people in your life. You don't. Um. I don't really. That's why I was kind of shocked. My tight circle is even gone now. Like I may have that's, but that is a, a childhood ascension. friend that I talk to. Yeah. And sometimes that's just ascension happening. You're moving up. You're learning more. And there is, I'm just going to say this again. There's something going on out there with people. Um, be careful, folks, because it is. People are on edge and they're not the way they were before. So please be careful out there. Um, I am going to say for you that you can 100% move on and not feel badly about it. Okay, love? And I know... Okay. Okay, I'm going to say I'm going to I'm going to say thank you so much for calling in and I'm going to put you on mute again because I just want to talk a little bit more about this but I don't want to keep you on on while I'm talking because I know you were in the middle of something before we started. So thank you so much for calling in and please listen to the rest of this. Listen, I know sometimes I say things and I make it sound so easy and I know it's not easy. I know it's not easy to let go of friends, partners, relationships. I, I know it's not. Um, but when I am saying it on, on air, I am channeling. So it does come through sometimes very like, well, ah, just let them go, you know, just take out that, that and move on with your life. And I know inside we are in turmoil because most of us are really good people and they're probably good people too. Um, but it's just no longer connecting for whatever reason. Just remember, if you were supposed to be with somebody, you would be with that person. It would be working out because both of you would be making the concerted effort to make it work out. Um, and that that is just the biggest fact that I can say, whether it's a love relationship, a friendship, a family relationship. One of the hardest things to understand is a stop making excuses for people because you're making excuses for them so that you can hold on to them and keep that friendship and be so that it doesn't hurt you as much. And it you don't have to make an uncomfortable choice that maybe you're not ready to make. If you stopped making excuses for people and you held them accountable for the way they were behaving, like, hey, you know, I've reached out to this person, they haven't reached back out. Oh, they're probably just really busy. Maybe, but all the time, all the time. And if they're reaching back out to other people, 
and it, you see when they're with you, they're constantly like returning everybody else's everything. That's when it's time to stop making excuses and realize I'm just not the priority here. I'm not a priority. And that doesn't mean let that person go. It's just know your place and then act appropriate to that place. If you're giving somebody all of your attention as a friend, as a partner, as a anything, and they are not reciprocating, just back off. Let them go their way. Let them go their way. And But you, by all means, you walk your way too. And if something comes in that is better for you, treats you better, loves you more, is a better friend, is a better partner, get down on it. <laughs> Spirit has such a sense of humor. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that is that message. Um, it can be very sad to separate from people, but it's much more difficult to stay with people in conflict, controversy, or just if they're just not being good to you. So don't be around people that aren't good to you. Just don't be around people that do not treat you respectfully and honorably. Don't do it because it makes you change your own opinion of yourself. Don't. Don't do that. It's never, ever worth it. Okay, 203, you're going to be next, and then 216. But I am going to take a question. Um, uh Oh my gosh, Jay Francis, whoever is on the other side for you. And I think it's so funny because everyone I have, most of the names I have said this morning, Jay Francis is like, oh, I had an Italian great grandfather named Ernesto. He was stocky and we called him Guido. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Thank you, Jay Francis. Now, just because Jay Francis knows these people. It doesn't mean they're not also for you because it it could be more than one Stella coming through. Okay. Um, Svetlana. Hi, Tony. Uh, hi, are me and V going to reconcile? Thank you. Are V and Svetlana going to reconcile? Yes. Yes, you are. You are going to reconcile. Make sure you resolve whatever caused the little thing. And reconcile doesn't mean if you want it to be better than it was before, you really have to make sure you resolve whatever caused this. Okay? That's the important thing. Okay, I'm going to go to 203. 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Pat. I'm sorry, Tony, it's Pat. I think I'm, I'm distracted about worried about background noise. Um, oh, you're good. Don't worry. I'm Connecticut. How Hi. can I help you, um, love? Can you, any, any message? For... Me. About about uh, just in general, I oh, just in general or if you don't want, if yeah, in general, unless you don't like doing that, that's fine. I'll ask. You okay, a so Pat, I'm just going to tell you the biggest thing they're saying is get ready. Everything's about to change. Don't freak out and think it's about to change for the better. I mean, for the worse. Um, sometimes everything. Okay, everything can change on a dime. Whoever used to say that is here very strong. It can all change on a dime, and it can all change for the better. We always think, oh, when one bad thing happens, everything's going to be bad. But when one good thing happens, we think, oh, when's the bottom going to fall out or when's the cookie going to crumble? Right. And what we have to do is ride that same energy that we do when one thing goes bad. We have to ride that same energy when it goes good. And what they're saying is everything is about to get a little bit easier for you, a little bit better for you. Um, it, it's almost like that's the hokey pokey song. The hokey pokey song is coming in. Uh, you put 
but they're singing it. I don't know. It's it's a little bit different because they're saying saying you take two step forwards and no steps back because you've oh, learned cool. everything you need to learn about that. So you take two steps forward and don't look back or you don't step back. You just keep taking steps forward, but you're taking them two at a time. Now you have to ride that wave and don't think, oh, what's going to go wrong? Oh, this is going to fall apart. Just let it keep going yeah. because just like that. Okay. That's the message. That's where I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to let it be there. I'm going to let that go for you and have that be what they are giving you today, Pat. And I hope that you truly enjoyed that and that it is a good message. I love that message for you because usually it's so heavy and like, you know, who really yeah. deep. Okay. Also, it's my son's birthday, and I was giving him a little bit of the same message, so I will repeat what you say to him, too. Thank you. I love you dearly, I, Tony. Love you, love you. I love you, too, Pat. I can't wait to talk with you again, okay? Yeah, okay. Thank take you care. so much, love. Bye -bye. You too. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to take uh, 216. You're going to be next, but I'm going to take a chat uh, question, and if you would like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131, or you can join me live on YouTube, where you get to see my giraffe, my plants. Okay, yeah, that, enough about that. Um, okay, so um, Angie wants to know, hey, Tony, will AD and I reconcile? Oof. You know, there's a lot of that going on, breakup to makeup stuff going on right now. I'm going to tell you, most breakups are going to get back together. 90% of the people who have recently, like, disconnected will be coming back together again. Um, Angie, you and AD, are they going to reconcile? Yes. Okay. You may have a conversation and reconcile, and I'm just, I'm going to say this. Why do you want the reconciliation? I know, I know, I know. I really do, I know. Um, here's the thing. Sometimes when we lo lose, lost somebody, when we lose somebody, we just want them back because it's ended and we're used to them and it, you know, and we love them, right? Despite all of the, right? We still love them. It's no longer... It's like, and then as soon as we lose it, then we're like, oh my God, I need to get this back. Um, what I'm going to say to you is that you need to look at why it felt, why, why this happened, and then really decide if both of you cannot make the appropriate changes needed. Um, you need to like, let it go with grace and love. Um, be, maybe, you know, you can reconcile and have that conversation of how are we going to change to fix this? Because a lot of people know that changes need to be made, but they're not aware of the work they personally need to do to make this happen, or they're not willing to do the work they need to do to make it happen. Okay, so Whatever that means for you, beautiful girl, I hope that helps. I really, really hope that helps. Um, yes. Okay. Hey, Sal. So happy to see you here. Okay. I'm going to go to 216. 216, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Patricia from Cleveland, Ohio. Hey, Patricia. Thank you for I... taking my call. Absolutely. My pleasure. How can I All help right. you today? Uh, I'd like to find out um, oh, any messages uh, from my ancestors or the angels. Well, no. Uh, uh. Okay. Any messages from my ancestors or angels about anything? Okay, uh, Patricia. My health or Patricia, can you the give temporary me? housing, Patricia? the short term housing, or Patricia. long term or. Patricia, can you please give me, let's start with one ancestor. Just give me the first name of one ancestor, please. I want to make sure I'm tapping into the right person. There are hundreds of people in my room right now. 
Oh, okay. Sorry about that. That's okay. Oh, my goodness. Just one name. And uh, um, Nathalie, my mother. And I'm sorry, can you repeat that name? Nathalie. Nathalie. Okay, thank you. N-A-T-H-A-M-I. All right. Okay. Um, the first thing, okay, she is here. She's here. And there are a number of people with her. So if this wasn't her, it could be one of her, one of the people with her. The first thing I hear is cancer. Now, of course, that could be how somebody passed or what they had in their life, but it could also be her astrological sign or your astrological sign. I don't know, but I'm here in cancer and we are in cancer season. So happy birthday, all my Cancerians. Um, the first thing I'm hearing is cancer. And then the next thing I'm hearing is Someone on the other side has either them or you or some, something, something's going on here, whether it's somebody on the other side giving you a confirmation that it's them or something going on on your side. I hear cancer. And then the second thing I hear is lung, something with the lungs. Now, this doesn't mean that it was lung cancer. These could be two different people with two different things. And this is how they're letting you know that they are here. And if this isn't for you, I'm sorry that somebody else is squeaking through, but I feel like it's for you because they're like right here, right here on my ear. Um, the message that they want, uh, I'm sorry, does that make sense to you? Sometimes I get so into the message, I forget to stop and ask, does that, does that message make sense for you? Um, well, my birthday will be next month. And unfortunately, I have an experience to put it that way. I was diagnosed uh, 2017 fall with uh, a regular uh, breast calcification. Okay. Uh, very early stage, I had a lumpectomy, even though that surgeon was being really pushy and really didn't care about me about, uh, you know, and total mastectomy and radiation, which I refused both of those. And I'm doing it in an alternative health way and, and wanting to be focused on health and living and doing non-invasive. But Excellent. I don't know anything about lungs. Um, okay. So that does make would, sense to you. That um, is a confirmation and it does make sense for you. Thank you for sharing that. And I'm really grateful that you're doing it in a natural, healthy way. One of the things I would say is um, you might need to add one or two things to that and it's going to help you a great deal, but keep going with that and you're going to be happy. Uh, the biggest thing that they want to say to you is that um, you you need they, that you are very, very loved. I don't know if sometimes you're not feeling the love that people have for you or you're not seeing seeing it, or maybe there just aren't a lot of people around you at this time, but you're, I'm getting the message that you, they just want you to know that you are very, very loved and to reach out. Don't feel like you're bothering people. Don't feel like you're, don't have a great expectation that they can spend an hour or so on the phone with you, but call people and listen to what's going on in their life. Um, and that you are very, very, very loved. And they want you to know that. Okay, sweetie? That's their biggest message that they want to give you. I I hope that helps, sweetie. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, living here in uh, Cleveland here has been a difficult, different, negative experience. So there has not been a lot of loving and I've had to create my own world in a sense and and talk me and I'll be relocating in the summer. So good, good, good. I'm happy to hear but it's that. Good. And I actually was gonna say, and um I wanna thank you so much for calling in. And I was gonna say, you know, when when we get someplace and it doesn't feel right and it's not we're we're feeling more um we don't feel, you know, whether it's with a person, place or thing, whether it be a job, a neighborhood, a friend, whatever, if it doesn't feel right, start making those plans and moving, start making those plans and relocating, start making those plans and get yourself to someplace that does feel better. And that's the most important thing that you can do. Um, because we need 
to be nurtured. We need to be loved. We exist of love. We do. We exist of love. Love is our core existence. We come from love. We return to love. While we're here, we are supposed to maintain that love. Everything else is an illusion. A pretty freaking real illusion at times, but an illusion. Okay? So just remember, we, at our core, are love. Okay, I just want to remind everybody I'm here every Monday and every Wednesday at noon central. I answer questions on YouTube and I take calls from callers um, to answer their questions and or help them connect with loved ones on the other side. The call in number is always 845-277-9131. If you want to schedule a private appointment, it's T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F. Oh, okay. I am going to take another, um, another, um, another question, another question on the YouTube chat. Hi, will I, will I be up to date in my work before the end of July? <laughs> you want to be, uh, you're going to have to sacrifice a few personal time and then you will be. If you sacrifice some personal time, Marie, you definitely will be. Absolutely, 100% you will be. Um, okay. I'm going to try to take one more. Do I have time? Yes, I hear yes. Okay, I need to. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, Nat 23, I think I just uh, answered that question about how to get a reading. Um, you can ask in the chat or you can call in 845-277-9131. So uh, here's the deal. I go live for 60 minutes twice a week and I answer questions and I can uh, on the phone and in the chat. And it's a 60 minute limit because this does air on TV. And as we know, uh, TV segments go 30, actually 28 and um, something like right under 60 minutes. And I always push, push the limit on that. So Nat, you are right at the end of the show, unfortunately. And there are other people, like I try to take people as they come in and call in and answer everybody's questions in order. And sometimes I do miss people and sometimes people have to come back on Monday to be able to, or the next show to, to be able to answer their, get their question answered. Um, and if I don't get to you, I apologize. Uh, but please remember there are people who have been on hold on the call log or waiting for their questions since the beginning of the show. And I don't always get to get to everybody. So please don't take it personally and don't be upset if I don't get to get to you. Um, uh, okay. Uh, you and Jonathan... What's the future connection? What's my future? What's my connection with John? What's the future of my connection with Jonathan? Here's what I'm going to say. 90 seconds. Uh, see, um, I'm going to say that, and I don't have enough time to answer this the way I would like to. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just going to say right now, they're just saying it's good, but questionable. Um, and again, come back. Come back on my next show and I'll go a little bit more into that for you. And I'm sorry, I don't have time to give more on that. Um, hello, Kiki, Kika. Hello. Um, 60 seconds. Okay, you guys, you hear the clock timing down. I have to say my goodbyes. I love everybody so stinking much. I'm going to really, really try to get a show in. Um, I'm going to really try to get a show in this weekend. And I'm also going to be um, here on Monday, July 3rd uh, for anybody who is off of work and wants to join into the show. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm so grateful that you joined me for this time. I love every single one of you. So speak in much.